What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are finishing up our Elite 85 series reviews in our two-in-one. We got Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch, but as well as, you guys know, when we cover the last two figures in the set, we always rank the set from worst to best, in my own personal opinion, which we will get into. But before we get into the ranking, guys, we gotta cover our last two figures in the set, which is Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch. Two women's figures featured here today. I do not know the last time that we had two women's figures featured in the same wave. Like, I... I just, I, I, it's not popping in my brain, so I'm sure you guys will let me know if it's been done before, or when the last time it happened, or how many times it's happened, or whatever the case is. However, we're going to break down the Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch action figures and find out what the hell they're all about. Are they good? Are they garbage? Are they somewhere in between? And we're going to rank them here today, as well as the rest of the set. But before we do that, guys, I do have to say, if you would like to buy any of Elite Series 85, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I would greatly appreciate it. Every time you guys use the promo code, it goes a long way in uh, showing your support for the channel, so I really appreciate that. Well, let's go ahead and get these guys out of the way and dive into these figures right here in front of us. Get, get out. So here's our front viewing window of Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch. Guys, you got great images of the talent right there. You get another image of the two ladies right here, and on the back of the packaging, you get the same thing. You got some bio reads right there. If you'd like to read either one of them, you can pause it right now. Rest of the figures in the wave, which we've already reviewed, and we are going to rank them. You got the same images there. They're not the same, Brad. They're actually different, you stupid, dumb, jackass, idiot moron. But that pretty much does it for our Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch figure uh, mock images, or mock little layout showcase, or whatever the hell. Let's just shut up and dive into it before I waste any more time. So here's Liv Morgan and Becky Lynch out of the packaging, guys. I'm liking what we got so far. Again, two women's figures in this set. Pretty shocking. Again, I can't remember the last time that we got two women's figures in the same exact wave. I feel like you gotta go back a little bit. It may not be even that far. It may just be, you know, just tripping or something, but what we're gonna do is take a closer look at Becky Lynch's accessories and Becky Lynch, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Liv Morgan's accessories and Liv Morgan, and then we're gonna rank Elite Series 85 from worst to best, in my own personal opinion, but let's just shut the hell up and dive into Becky Lynch's accessories. So for Becky Lynch's accessories, guys, we pretty much just get, you know, some, some good title stuff right here. We get the Raw Women's Championship. Now, I'm pretty sure the uh, the little swoosh up under the W is not supposed to be black, so I'm not sure why they do that in black when it's supposed to be red. I don't know why they do that. I feel like they've always done that for some reason. Also, I'm noticing the WWE logos right here are also black on the side plates, but we get another Raw Women's Championship as well as the Women's Money in the Bank, and I'm pretty sure this is inaccurate to the Women's Money in the Bank as well. I don't think this is the accurate Money in the Bank briefcase that comes with this Becky Lynch. This is supposed to be the briefcase that she, you know, that Asuka won at Money in the Bank, and then she forfeited her Raw Women's Championship over to Asuka, you know, where she announced her pregnancy. So you get another Women's Money in the Bank briefcase, as well as two pairs of interchangeable hands. You get fists, and you get mic holding hands, which, if you're wondering why they're opposite, it's because the other mic holding hand is in the figure, and then the other fist is in the opposite side of the figure. So, and that's pretty much all you get with this Becky Lynch figure, man. I think it would have been cool to see another leather jacket, but the Elite 72 leather jacket is great, and you could easily plug it onto this Elite 85 Becky if you wanted to. So getting into Becky Lynch, guys, starting out the head sculpt. I actually like this head sculpt a lot. I think it, it's pretty much the exact same as the Elite 72 with a slight variation to it. They, you guys remember, like, a long time ago, man, they couldn't nail a Becky Lynch head sculpt if it hit him in the face. Like, it took them so long to finally get the Becky Lynch figure right, especially in the head sculpt, man. But it looks like we have finally arrived. I like this head sculpt. I like the ponytail head sculpt that I put on my Ultimate Edition, which you guys will see later. I like the Elite 72. I mean, this is great. I like it. I don't have a problem with it. Standard looking Becky Lynch torso with the black attire. The ab crunch on this thing is not very good. Like, women's figures, ab crunches are usually just pretty subpar. The back bend is a little bit better, but the ab crunch is pretty crap. You do get the double jointed pinless joints for this Becky Lynch, which is gonna be a normalcy going forward, which is just incredible. I can't wait to see more women's figures get the double jointed arms. This makes them so great to see them be able to pose this around. The only thing we're lacking still, man, is ankle pivot. I know we're moving towards that. Like, a lot of women's figures are starting to get ankle pivot, but the Becky Lynch is one of those where they keep using the old kick pad mold. We need a new kick pad mold because they have, like, basic feet. We need the ankle pivot, and that would really solve the issues. You get the black gauntlets on the wrist. You get no knee pads. You get these stripes on the kick pads, and then you get the double-jointed knees, which is absolutely beautiful as well. So, as far as articulation, man, this is probably the best Becky Lynch. I would say the Ultimate Edition is great, but it had that weird, like, lower leg problem where it was, like, side 
socks on top of boots like molded together so I really don't know what's going on there but I like this Becky Lynch man really good stuff going on the double jointed arms are just 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 gorgeous man been waiting on this for years and here we are and it's just it's just freaking unreal so for your Becky Lynch figure comparisons guys here's the ultimate edition on the left which I like a lot I like love this ultimate edition the head sculpts weren't great at all I think they were pretty god awful but these head sculpts make the figure look a lot better and my legs are also loosey goosey but this like Kill Bill Bruce Lee inspired attire is just insane and I just love this head sculpt like the the little pullback ponytail head sculpt is great on these and it's just great to see like two different options here but both these have double jointed knees both these have double jointed arms both have great head sculpts I mean what do you want to say these are two great Becky Lynch figures and you can even throw the Elite 72 in here as well even though it doesn't have the uh, double jointed arms so for Liv Morgan's accessories, guys, again, just like Becky Lynch, we don't get a ton of stuff going on, but we do get some quality stuff going on, or at least one quality item, and it is going to be this white robe, which has a very towel-like feel to it. Like, if we zoom out here, you guys will see how nice this thing is. I think it looks great, like the texture on it. It feels like they cut up a legit towel or a legit rag. It's not, like, super thick or anything. It feels really good in the hand. It has Velcro on the front, so you can put the robe onto the Liv Morgan figure. You could use it for other figures as well. I'm interested to see how well it fits a men's figure as well so that'll be something that we could probably take a look at if I remember but this robe is really nice man anytime we get cloth accessories I am all for it there's no doubt about that outside of that guys you do get interchangeable hands now this is her mic holding hand in her left hand and then she has a mic holding hand for the right this one doesn't have the glove on it but her other hands do so she has this like grabby hand right here with the glove on it and then her other signature hand which also has the glove on it and it's more like a shooter hand and I don't know why so I'm not sure if she takes her glove off before she wrestles or if that's just a mistake i'm not entirely sure about that but yeah you guys can see there you will lose the glove if you uh put the mic holding hand in there but outside of that man that's pretty much all you get with this Liv morgan figure and then if you guys wanted a shot of the Liv morgan with the robe on there you go there's a good shot of it right there a bit baggy so i think it would fit a men's figure specifically like a smaller men's figure i don't know it may go on like a drew mcintyre i don't know I, you know I, I can't tell you but i think the robe d definitely looks great i like the quality of it and it looks good on the Liv morgan figure so that's really all you can ask for so getting into Liv morgan guys starting out at the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt looks like Liv Morgan. I think the only thing that is kind of losing me is maybe the eye makeup. It kind of seems like it like fades out or something or maybe lipstick on this would make it look a little bit better or something and maybe even my head sculpt's like jaw at the bottom left right here is a little bit warped but I still think it looks like Liv, Liv Morgan. I like it. I like the hair color. I like the hair sculpt and everything. The attire is super badass like the black and all these buckles and stuff going on. You got the black sleeves. Really nice stuff going on right here. You actually get really good articulation out of the arms as well like when you bend the arms like she can pretty much like touch her face so i mean that's pretty much all you need but i mean uh, double jointed arms are always going to be superior but uh, i don't think you're going to have any issues with these single jointed arms here the belt is actually sculpted on the lower stomach which i like to see which is what i was trying to say about the bray wyatt i feel like they should have done that with the bray wyatt with the uh, you know the bottom of the sweater i think that would have made that figure look a little bit better with the crotch piece but going down you have the little buckle star right here around her thigh she does have pretty giant knee pads i didn't expect these big knee pads on here she also has nice wrestling boots on here and i think they're supposed to have ankle pivot the ankle pivot isn't the best but it is present it's not like the basic boots where you have the little you know the little peg going through right there so that's pretty nice as well she is on ball joints which is beautiful to see and yeah i mean i, I you got the choker around the neck up here i mean it's a pretty nice figure i'm liking what we got going on with the Liv morgan it doesn't feel as good in the hand as i would have liked but it still feels pretty good you get the thigh cut you know ab crunch isn't the best or anything like that but and the double jointed knee is a little bit tight so you may want to break that in a little bit or put it in some warm water or at least mine was i don't know if yours will be like that as well also get a little chip on the sleeve right there what's all that about but overall man strong little Liv morgan figure now for your Liv morgan figure comparisons guys here is our basic Liv morgan or one of the basic Liv morgans up next to her elite and i will say i never got her first elite it was more of a basic anyway but i never got her first figure it was the collector's edition i could never find it or anything like that i never even got the sonya deville i i just don't find collector's editions man they just you know i can't find them i don't know what to say can't find them anywhere but here is Liv Morgan up next to Liv Morgan it may be a cool little head swap like seeing these two head swap may be a thing this head may be too big for this body but I like the pink hair and the the hairstyle she used to rock and I think I like this attire better but this is obviously a better figure but I think like this in elite form would look really good if it was done like this I don't know it's just some things I'm thinking about in my brain because you guys know these single jointed knees are just atrocious but yeah there's your Liv Morgan figure comparisons all right guys it is that time of the video where we rank elite series 85 from worst 
the best in my own personal opinion. Now, again, the criteria for this ranking comes in, you know, excitement level for the figure, how much am I going to use it, you know, the posability, how it feels in the hand, details, accessories, everything kind of, you know, can grab a like, all into one, and we, you know, we sit back and rank them, guys. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it, guys. Coming in at the bottom, this is actually a really strong set, like really, really strong set. So it's going to be, you know, one of those cases where the bottom figure has a lot of great qualities, and it just, you know, it just happened to come in at the bottom because it's such a part of a strong set. So that that's unfortunately the case here today because I like all these figures, and they're all damn good. So let's go ahead and get into it. Coming in at the bottom, guys, I'm going to go with the Liv Morgan. Now, this one actually pains me because I like Liv Morgan a lot. I think she's a great talent. You know, she's getting better every single day. I'm so glad we finally have an elite of her. I like it. I just feel like the single jointed arms compared to the rest of the wave, I just feel like the head sculpt could have been a little bit stronger. The legs are a little bit stiff. You know, they're not as, like, good as I would like. And it doesn't feel as good in the hand as I would maybe like it to. And the ankle pivot isn't that strong. Therefore, I am going to go with Liv Morgan at the bottom. But this figure is really damn good. And it still hurts me to even put her at the bottom. Coming in at number five, guys, I'm going to go with Becky Lynch. Now, it was very hard to, you know, not put Becky Lynch at the bottom. But I can't put a women's figure with double-jointed arms and double-jointed knees at the lowest part. That is why she beat out Liv Morgan just by a little bit. She has the double-jointed arms. Her double-jointed knees feel a lot better. And I like Becky Lynch more than Liv Morgan, maybe. And, yeah, I just felt like Becky Lynch deserved to go at the number five spot over the Liv Morgan figure. Coming in at number four, guys, I'm going to go with Aleister Black. Now, this one actually pains me because I love Aleister Black, but I felt like, you know, you don't get a ton of stuff with him. You know, he's pretty plain Jane except for this. I mean, this is a wicked coat, don't get me wrong, but, you know, it's just a little bit bulky. You know, it's, it, it, like, look at it. Look how I have to take it off of the figure. It's a little bit of a painful process getting it off of there and everything like that. I love Aleister Black. I love the attire. I love the head sculpt, but we have pretty much seen this Aleister Black before outside of a couple things, so I'm going to put Aleister Black at the number four ranking. I think that's pretty fair. All right, top three time, top three time, and I swear to God, it gets more complicated, but coming in at number three, guys, I'm going to go with The Undertaker. I think this figure's great, and I wouldn't even be shocked if a lot of people put this at their favorite figure in the set because this Undertaker is really damn good. The head sculpt is phenomenal. I like the attire. I like the bandana. I like the braided hair. It's a really fun figure to pose around, too. Like, you get a lot of great mobility out of it. I like all the studs and buckles and belts and stuff. This is a great figure. This is one of the better Undertaker figures, I think, of all time, and uh, I, I would put him at number three. All right, guys, down to two and one. Is it going to be Karrion Cross or is it going to be Bray Wyatt? And my number two, guys, I'm going to go with Karrion Cross, and number one, I'm going to put Bray Wyatt. I really can't describe it, but I really love this Bray Wyatt, man. I think it's like the legs along with the double-jointed arms and everything, and just, I don't know, I just, like, look at this back bend. I, I, I really can't describe it. I just really like this Bray Wyatt. The Killer Cross figure is really damn good, though. I didn't expect him to feel as good in the hand as he does, like, with the, the ball joints and everything like that. I do feel that his lower legs are too long, like, bending his knee is a little bit awkward. Like, his leg looks gigantic like that. Like, good God, look how long. But at the end of the day, very good figure. Both of these are really strong and feel good in the hand. I'm gonna go Bray Wyatt again at number one. Cross at number two. Even though the Bray Wyatt can't stand the hell up sometimes, that pisses me off. It's like the ankle joint got loose or something somehow. Man, to put some Mod Podge in there. I think if I was a bigger fan of Cross, I'd probably have him at the number one spot. But Bray at one, Cross at two, Taker at three, Alistair at four. Look how tiny Alistair looks. Jesus. Becky at five, and Liv Morgan at number six. I think this is the appropriate way to rank it. Overall thoughts on the set is a very damn good set, man. One of the best sets we've gotten so far this year. It may be the best set we've gotten so far this year. If I had to run it down in my brain, I can't, you know, I can't wrap my head around it right now. But anyways, guys, I can't wait for Elite 86. We're gonna get Seth Rollins in here. We got a lot of great stuff going on, man. It's gonna be absolutely excellent. If you guys would like to pick up these figures, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I think coming up in a couple weeks, I don't know if it's this week. I think it's the week after Mania. So like, not this week, not next week, but the week after that. The legit week after Mania. I think I'm going to do something where we have like a redemption week here on the channel. And I'm going to I'm gonna do a lot of videos 
that have been gone for a little bit. So we're going to bring back a battle royal. We're going to bring back thinking outside the box. We'll probably have a surgery in there. We'll probably have, I'd like to have a pick fed episode in there. Maybe another ranking style video. Maybe a setup. I just plan to do a, a chock full week full of, you know, just like a redemption week of old MDT videos where we, uh, you know, we, we bring back some of the classics. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know some ideas down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. For a random shout out, guys, it's going to go to everyone. I'm shouting out the whole MD Nation, man. Huge shout out to all you guys. You guys are absolutely unbelievable. You guys are the GOATs. Really appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Have a great day. Have a blessed week. And uh, you guys already know the deal. You see it? Can you, can you see it?